We are throwing it back today to try Urban Outfitters. I'm having an identity crisis in this in this shirt. I cannot believe I'm on camera like this. Oh my god. I don't know who I am, but I like it. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to Clever Style. Hi <laughs> hey guys, we are throwing it back to the mid-early 2010s. And let me just paint a scene for you guys, okay? We are in the era of skater skirts, mm. putting mustaches on things, mm. galaxy prints. All of these mm. things were found at Urban Outfitters and we are doing a deep dive today. I'm so excited. Look, we still shop at Urban Outfitters, but it was so known during the late 2010s for being a very specific type of look. So mm. we want to see if it's evolved from its original creation. Yeah, that's right. So we are going to dive into five different categories. We are going to be trying on dresses, tops, Shoes, jeans, and you know it wouldn't be clever unless we had a wild card round. <laughs> no, I want to say it together. Okay, wild, wild card, card round. Ooh, round. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Nailed it. Okay, guys, we are doing the dresses round first, and I am pleasantly surprised. No. So this dress is $69, which from memory serves was like forever the price of their dresses. This dress actually does remind me of the 2010s. It's a kind of like that skater dress, goes out girly, but like kind of edgy or something. I don't know, maybe the lace detail is kind of reminding me of that time. Overall, I love this dress just yeah. on its own. I'm, I think it's yeah, like gorgeous color, good shape. I've seen stuff like this at Urban Outfitters over the years and they'll just do different colors or like a different pattern, so. Yeah. I love it. I love how like you can kind of see through here a little bit, but mm -hmm. like this is covered. Like, yeah. it's like sexy, but like modest. Mm -hmm. I feel like for 70, I want it to be um, like good quality. And I do think that Urban does offer pretty good quality. Like I'm mm -hmm. not disappointed and I don't feel like it's something I'll never wear again. I do always feel like their stuff stays in style and comes back around. Overall, I am a happy camper. Happy camp? I don't hear that expression enough. Okay, I am honestly loving this dress. Something about like the patch detailing yeah. is like giving me 2010s. Like this is kind of something I would wear back then, but I would still honestly wear now. Yeah. So cute. I love a bodycon moment. I don't know. Like I just, it's I just It's hugging do. you, it is. I, I also have like a little bit of a bigger situation back here. Some might say a wagon and I just know <laughs> something bodycons can like fit my entire body. I don't have to stress I about I love like, how buttoning. modest you are. Wait, time <laughs> out. She's like, you know, I got like a little bit of like, a, you know, a wagon. When it's not, it's not wagon, it's wagon. <laughs> Yeah, so I love this so much. The colors, everything. They literally have this dress in like multiple different kind of patterns and colors. I don't know, I just, it feels one of a kind to me, which it, I like. It reminds me of almost the 90s too. Like there's yes. something about it that feels very street style, 90s, like Sex in the City even. I know, I want like a big jacket or like even a sneaker. Yeah, I exactly. am worried it's gonna shrink, but that doesn't matter. All right, so this dress is definitely bringing me back to 2010, where you saw all of those like 90s, type of dresses oh where it kind of like you didn't know if it was like a nightgown or if okay. it was like an actual dress. I never gravitated to this style of dress but I too like body cons, but I, I've been trying to find stuff where it doesn't feel like too sexy that you can mm -hmm. wear to totally. a dinner where you're not like walking into the dinner feeling like, oh my gosh, I'm not sure. at a club. Yeah. Totally. So I feel like this kind of dress is a happy medium because it's it's tight, but then it like flares out. Cute. It's making me wonder. Like you never want to show, I feel like, cleavage and shoulders yeah. and legs. Yeah. And it's just like the perfect amount of like revealing. All in all, I'm impressed because when I go to Urban Outfitters or when I have, again, I've never really shop shop there. I never looked at their dresses. Mm -hmm. So when I was looking online, I was pleasantly su surprised to see the different varieties. Too, I, I really so do pretty. like the dress. The only thing I'll say, I think it, it, it's that fine line between is it a nightgown or is it a dress with like the bra yeah. straps and like the whatever I material. I wouldn't think nightgown. You wouldn't? No. no. Well then never mind. That's elevated girl. Okay. Well that's a relief. I'm obsessed yet again. This was a corset top that was around $59 from their kind of like sleepwear lingerie nighttime line. Mm -hmm. It is like a bra hook. It's oh, definitely got interesting. the, as you can tighten it, you like, right. I, I don't know if other corsets have that, but I just like the neckline. I'm really into square necks. Mm -hmm. I hate a scoop on me. It just does not flatter my chest, but I like a square. I have little bitty titties, so I got to pull them to the center and just, <laughs> oh yeah, okay. Well, that's when I do that. They, they, they do kind of fall away. <laughs> 
This is really different from what the Urban Outfitters in the 2010 era was like, which was a lot more flannels, a lot of graphic tees, more like business casual. Mm. And so nowadays they're a lot more street style, I think, yeah. with their shirts. Yeah. Fun patterns, kind of like edgy, sexy. This reminds me of like Euphoria almost. Mm. But I love it. I'm obsessed like with I a slick it. bun and like some cute tennis shoes it's even. It's great. I have never, ever been happier. Okay, I am loving this tank. I have so many black tank tops and I was like, I wanna just get yes. out of my comfort zone. Yes. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I me. also just love like a colorful tank with a light wash jean. Oh. Like, I don't know, something about this with a heel. Like, I love this top. This Can top I, is so different. I like, at first, at first glance, it just looks like all these mixture colors, but you're right. like in Arizona oh, yeah. in the Grand Canyon. It's like, <laughs> are you World kidding traveler. me? This has a very interesting, like the um, straps and stuff yeah. too. Oh the straps are super fun. And then this like little ruffling yeah. is like super cute. I don't know, it feels like really dainty and cute, mm -hmm. but usually I'm not a tank top girl. It is see-through, but it's fine. I have like a little bandeau under it. Yeah. I probably would wear maybe a different bandeau or some sort of like, I don't know, umbrella. You wouldn't it. just wear it without? Just what? Nipples. What are you talking I about? I am a free the nipple girly <laughs> for others. Why are we talking about your nipples? Well, I got catfished, okay? <laughs> have y'all ever seen me ever pick a pink shirt? I don't Never. think so. Okay, so already this style shirt was out of my comfort zone, right? I was like, but you know what? I'm gonna switch it up, I'm gonna do something different. When I saw this on the site, it was actually brown. It's like, cool, a cute little collared brown shirt. I also really love a good just like crop yeah. that's loose with my like high-waisted jeans. Love. So I saw it and then I came in the dressing room and I was like, what is this Pepto-Bismol <laughs> varsity blues like top? What is happening? And I found out that Urban Outfitters basically is upcycling old styles that they used to sell in a new mm. way. Yeah, it's like a surprise. Like you like, don't really know what you're gonna get. Surprise! So for those of you shopping, just look at the fine print because you might get a happier bad surprise when you order something. This is not what I ordered. All right, y'all, we are doing the shoe round and these are the Bella Boots for 139. I'm obsessed. I really have been very happy almost every category today. Like these are just these cool 90s kind of inspired. I mean, I had to give it the full 90s look. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, I feel like Rachel Green and Friends. Those boots are amazing. <laughs> These are a size nine on me, so they're already a little tight, so size up half a size if they offer that, but. I feel like this is you in a boot. Yeah? I think it's like you and your personality in a boot. Totally. With yeah. Like, I got my flippy hair and my little cropped thing, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, back in the day, I don't feel like I had a super strong connection with Urban's shoes. I have no specific memory, but mm -hmm. they carry all the good brands, and I am very happy with these. I'm, a, I'm excited to style these more ways. You have confidence, so. Why not? These shoes are $50. I am, as some would say, a sneakerhead. I love like a quality shoe. So this isn't really, I don't know, I feel like you should invest in shoes. This isn't really like mm. doing it for me. Mm. But they're really cute if I wanted like just something for like a night yeah. or a couple of nights and I didn't have like a lot invested in them. Like it works for me. <laughs> I think it's cute actually. It does I go mean, well with the jacket. Black and white goes with everything. Yeah. I like the square mm -hmm. edge. I'm what? like, do I have bunions? I can not believe I'm on camera like this. <laughs> My toes are ashy. I should have put on lotion at least. <laughs> I love these shoes. Um, I think, like you said, everybody needs like those basic type of shoes. But what I love about those is we see like, you know, the black ones, the clear ones, and but these are that extra it's special funky. twist. Yeah. 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 So yeah. if you're wearing like a plain black dress or like jeans and a black top, it's something that edges it up a little yeah. bit. Yeah. I love them. And Me they too. look really expensive. Yeah, yeah, I love. I think the cool <laughs> thing is too, it's like when you're standing from the side, it's like, oh, it looks like she has like a tan shoe and then plat out, it's a whole other color. Yeah. Oh, no. Mind blown. I was shopping on the site like you guys were and I was looking at the shoes and I was like, oh, these look exciting, whatever. And then I spent a little extra time shopping and I looked at their accessories for whatever reason. So these weren't even mm. technically in like the shoe tab. It was under like accessories and weird things. So I was like, they have roller blades at Urban Outfitters? Hell yes, <laughs> I am buying these, I am getting them, absolutely. And I think that's just like a cool thing to know that they have just like random stuff at Urban Outfitters. I love like, you, Jackie. You need <laughs> sneakers, you need boots, you need high heels. They got even roller blades, like what? And I was like, I wanna be the the next cool roller skater on TikTok and Instagram, but I never invested in the roller blades. You can't wear those unless you know what you're doing. And I, I know, feel like you damn. know what you're doing. Listen, I can skate. I can kind of groove when I skate, but I do not have the moves. But you're right. You I do. cannot wear these until I can like. Oh my God. 
I'm sorry. Ross and everybody's no! freaking out. I literally cannot <laughs> see. I can't watch. I'm gonna call you Jackie Sharapova. <laughs> okay, I'm going back. I'm oh, no! The next day. We are doing the denim jeans round, and I have a pair of vintage Wranglers on. These are vintage AF Whoa. from the days of yore. Oh, some Wranglers? Know. Wait a minute. Some okay, wranglers. some Wranglers. So here's the thing with vintage. They only came in small, medium, large, so I didn't really know what that meant. I'm sure there was a size chart, but my lazy ass just said I'm usually always medium in every case, so I ordered medium. These are a bit too loose on me, which was surprising, because I don't ever feel like I'm, I'd be this small, because I'm a 6'8", usually, so I do have these kind of um, tightened in the back, but Wranglers become really popular again, kind of like Levi's. Everyone loves a vintage denim. I don't really care about these jeans. I don't really feel excited about them. And I've bought jeans from Urban before and I've liked them. So I'm okay with these. Don't love, don't hate. Forgettable. These are from the Urban Renewal line. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And basically mm -hmm. that means that the jeans I saw on the website, I knew they weren't going to be the jeans I was going to get. With that being said, not, I love the patching. Cute. So cute. I like, I have attachment issues. Like I saw the jeans on the site and I really, I was manifesting something a little bit more similar. <laughs> also the jeans that I saw online were just like a little bit more high rise. They were longer. These just like don't fit me in general. And they're $129. So just for that like Russian roulette effect, yeah. I don't know if I'm no. here for it. If you're like more free spirited, then give it a shot. But for $129, I want to get what I'm Ordering, yes. especially yes. confusing. Absolutely. Yes. Urban Outfitters, you look online, you're like, wow, this is gonna be exciting, this is gonna be fun, this is gonna be new. And then it shows up to your doorstep and you're like, what the hell? Like, what is this? What is Do you this? feel catfished? I do a little bit. Like, okay. Honestly, it looks very similar to the photo, but I think what I saw, it seems like the jeans were a little bit more like flowy and loose, not so constructed and like whole, 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 yeah. flare, flare, flare. Like, what is this? Is this fringe a fringe moment? I don't understand. It's so hard with multiple rips because if they look forced, it's weird. It's mm -hmm. a lot. And it's unfortunate because I felt like this was going back to like, back to that era like Skater Girl where it was like mm -hmm. that very oversized pants that you'd wear with like sneakers and yeah. like your little tank top. Um, that's what I was going for and it just totally missed the mark. Yikes. Welcome to our wildest wild card round ever. I've added my dog in my overalls for dramatic effect because you guys don't understand the size. Okay, we're gonna release my dog into the wild now. Hi, Linus. Be Bye, careful, Linus. you might expose a bunch of things on your way out there. Try to keep your clothes on. The thing with Urban Outfitters Renewal is that these were one size. So I'm like, cool, love that. I was going for a total Jennifer Love Hewitt 90s overalls, baby tee. One size fits all. <laughs> What? My top is so cute, first of all. Hold on. Top is great. I love it. Oh, that's cute. so cute. It is cute. Very 90s baby doll. It's part yeah. of their sleep, like little sleepwear collection. How cute would this have been? Yeah. Mm. I see the vision. In another world where these fit better. These are I'm afraid wild. to look. I'm afraid yeah, to look. Yeah, it's 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 exposed. Don't it's, be afraid. I'm having fun with it. I'm obsessed. <laughs> I think it's also the thong that you picked is like so skinny. <laughs> Not that you picked, that you obviously just had on, but it's just so skinny and it's it's so close to my your butt. My, <laughs> right. fuzzy, my fuzzy butt is right there, you guys. These are super oversized, probably an, a vintage men's overall. They're Dickies brand, but like you can't say something's one size charge ninety dollars and send me this. Um, I do want to show you guys my shoes. Cute. cute. Love. I really wanted like a cool girl goulash. These were one hundred and twenty bucks. To be totally frank with you, um, but I think they're so freaking cute with their little pink detailing. So that's that on that for my simple life reboot. That's hot. I'm loving Soft. this. I'm so cozy. I love the color. My shoes, I'm like, don't show my toes. <laughs> my shoes do not match at all, but I still love them. If I'm at home and it's like one cold day in LA and I'm like, I'm gonna have a tomato soup and a half of a grilled <laughs> cheese, this is what I'm wearing yeah. while I watch reruns of Grey's Anatomy. Turn I've on. never seen this. It's so unique and fun and cozy. Like the colors are great. The size is great. I touched her earlier. The like material is great. The it's shoes so are soft. awesome. Like I just want to give you a big hug. Those shoes like, look really soft, but also really hard to walk in. I feel so empowered. Like they're so high, but like I don't even care. It's a spice girl moment. Yeah. This is what Spice Girls used to wear back in the day. Which Spice Girl? 
You're probably wondering like, who is that new girl on Clever Style today? <laughs> like, I don't know who she is. Hi, it's it's Jackie. You remember me? I don't know what I was thinking. When I was on the site, I was like, it's wild card round. And normally I'm thinking of very practical things that I can take home with me that I'm gonna wear. But I was like, you know what? Have your moment, Jackie. Yeah. You know, like be someone that you're not. Yeah. And I was like, I'm gonna get that. This is $165. Woo! Very expensive. Um, but I, as much as I hate the price, I do really love what they what they do with like Adidas and Nikes on their website. They like get old um, apparel and then they rejuge it into oh. a new little fixture. So that's what they did here. This is like old Adidas wear. So this is probably a tracksuit and they just like cut it up, made into a skirt and a yeah, bra top. It's or so a bikini cute. Because you can like see almost where the pants. That's yeah, cool though. Yeah, yeah. I might just have to take this and do like some kind of summer moment. And then, yeah. you know, I was like, okay, Jackie, how do you style it? <laughs> so I found these Converse um, and they were yellow and I was like, have a yellow moment, get some matching glasses yes! and put it into an outfit. Wild car. So here we are, we're wild, we're crazy. And we're I'm not crazy. mad at it. I don't know who I am, but I like it. It's like you're a whole new person. Listen, Urban Outfitters made me into this like new woman. So I'm gonna keep shopping. I am all for Urban Outfitters and I you like should. it. What I love that for you. It? Yeah. Look, some, for me, some of the rounds were a miss. Um, some were an absolute hit. I am going to keep shopping. Okay. Happy. I'm definitely gonna keep shopping. I never stopped. Yes, yeah, you love Urban Outfitters. I do, I yes. do. I love it so much.